Hello everyone! So today we're gonna watch a video 10 culture shop after 3 years living in Germany! Okay. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> so she's bringing your energy today. Yes, by Alina Goldberg YouTube channel. I don't quite know what culture shock is gonna be, but I'm gonna be honest about if it's culture shock that I've seen also here in Thailand. So let's go because we have been living in Thailand for 10 years. So let's go. Let's get started. Hey there, today we're exploring 10 fascinating cultural surprises in Germany. From limitless highways, dangerous door handles and love for dogs to unique dinner traditions. So let's dive right in. The typical German Abendbrot or evening bread might surprise foreigners. Instead of a hot dinner, Germans often eat bread with cheese, cold cuts, pickles and spreads. It's common for families to sit at the table together, choose what they like, and assemble their own sandwiches. Though this is actually, it's not that crazy. It's just that if it's just bread and cheese, it look more like something that you would snack like at the end of the day. Although usually the problem with the end of the day is that you don't want to eat bread before going to bed because this is hard to digest, right? But it's it's not uncommon in Canada to eat either like toast with peanut butter at night or like a, like some kind of a club sandwich or something. Um, the table look organized. Oh yeah. It just like it's so. Cute. You're not used to that because you made a mess in the kitchen, right? Yeah, because I'm the one who always cook. <laughs> okay, look at the bread. That's thick bread. Do you want that bread? Yes. <laughs> it look good. The table together, choose what they like, and assemble their oh own God. sandwiches. Though this is a well-known tradition in Germany, a growing number of people now prefer a hot meal for dinner. Germany has a deep-seated affection for dogs, which are often seen as family members and companions. Germans Aww. are also known for their commitment. So Jay and I, we have 12 dogs, so they're our family. <laughs> to me, you should treat your animal the same way you would treat a human. Like, if your dog has cancer, you don't give your dog away to a shelter. You just treat your dog, you know? It's a, it's a family. Once you made a commitment for your dog, you don't give that dog away. You treat that dog the exact same that you would treat your human child. Yeah, of course, I think like all the animals, you know, when when you have them for too long, they are like your kid. I mean, it doesn't mean only the dog. It can be a cat, it can be squirrel, it can be like a, a rabbit, it can be everything. <laughs> You're right, yeah. We have 12 rescue at home, so. ...to animal welfare and responsible pet ownership, as demonstrated by strict regulations including dog taxes and various types of dog insurance. Moreover, mm -hmm. there are plenty oh. of dog-friendly spaces in Germany. Yeah, but you see, it's because they have a lot of regulation, and in Canada, you need to be microchip it, so you cannot just dump your dog. In Thailand, anyone can dump their dog in the street, and nobody will know who, which owner dumped their dog, you know? Yeah. ...various types of dog insurance. Moreover, there are plenty of of dog friendly spaces in Germany. For instance, dogs are allowed in most shops, restaurants, oh! and public transportation. In Germany, Goodness. you're expected to bring your own bags when going shopping. That's why you will often observe people carrying their own bags, boxes, or even special baskets. Supermarkets and most That's normal. Shops shop That's normal, right? It's just mean that if you don't bring your bag, you're gonna pay for the for them to give you the bag, right? Is that what it is? In Thailand, you pay for the bag sometime, right? You're gonna pay like Yeah, actually. But it's also the way to help global warming. In Thailand, it just, everything is so easy. At the beginning, people was like, um, you know, really excited about it. But right now, not really. It just, because it's a one part of the bag. To be honest, like, it's still gonna, you know, have to spend like many years to clean people's mind, you know, for, for what gonna happen. Like, stop using the plastic bag like, yeah. by using, like, reuse things bags, boxes, or even special baskets. Supermarkets and most other shops charge for plastic or paper bags to minimize waste. This is how Germany cares for the environment. It might surprise you, but it's completely safe to drink tap water in Germany. Not only is it safe, but the water quality is also highly regulated, making it- I'm sorry for pausing. I cannot drink tap water. When I was in Canada growing up, right, in the 90s, I had uh, some kind of phobia about that. Because once in a while in the journal, because back in the 90s, we had the, the newspaper and my city was around 35,000 people. So we had a journal for the only for my town, right? Mm. And with the news of the week in it or the news of the day, right? And sometime when the tap water you cannot use this week or for a few days, they will say like, don't use the tap water for like three days, right? But me, I was paranoid because sometimes you're going to turn the water and it's black. So like, you know, oh, we're brown. So you know that like that day you cannot use it, right? But it's stuck in my head. 
to me, the, the bottle of water tastes so much better. And I don't know if it's because like um, a bias is in my head already that I didn't like tap water, but I have always struggled to eat tap water. And in Thailand, uh, we can talk about it. Uh, <laughs> no. No, we, we cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Some, they're going to use that water to cook, but you have, you need to have like uh, the filter to, to clean the water again, you know, like for a second, for the third like the third thing to try to clean the water more. Actually, did she grow it? Grow what? Salad. Oh, you think? Oh, you think so? Oh, you want to do it? <laughs> so she's growing plant in front of the house. So she's she, she, flower. She, she's she's into that those flower thing now. She's growing her tea and she's growing stuff. She's it's into that herbal now. To bottled water. The water is strictly tested under the German Drinking Water Ordinance, ensuring minimal chemical and microbial contaminants. Germany employs a system called Fund to encourage people oh, to recycle one. bottles. Both plastic and glass bottles carry a deposit that is refunded when you return them to supermarkets. People collect their empty bottles and then return them by a special machine that issues a receipt which can be redeemed for cash or used as a discount on their grocery bill. In nearly all houses ah, in Germany, That's good, I mean, we give the homeless here. In Thailand, it's very common, you will see especially like homeless on, with their tuk-tuk, they will, they will come and they will go from place to place and they will take your bottle like you, just, just like a, when you're young and a kid go to your house sell you chocolate well the homeless will come and will ask you if we have bottled that day yeah like, actually like we, we don't need to give to them we can go and sell the oh, bottle can, ourselves but... but it's not you know it's not that much money but when you have a lot people can get rich the, the one who buy who buy it they, they can be rich with that you know like she says that because down the street here, I walked there the other day, I was there and I was like, why there's so much trash outside? And Suji said it's because they are some kind of company yeah. that take all the bottles there. I mean, like the homeless, also, like some homeless also go there to sell just mm. a little bit of money, but then they pay a little bit and then they're going to get another profit when they sell to another people. And also it's not just a bottle, like sometimes you find like some kind of metal thing like that, you know, many, many things. So they can sell together because there's a lot less regulation so a lot of people like half the country maybe i'm not sure i, I kind of self-employed in a way like they, they sell their own thing and they try to make money this way you grind how you how you can or used as a discount on their grocery bill in nearly all houses in germany doors cannot be opened from the outside without a key even if they are not locked huh? therefore it's important for residents and visitors wow. to always I don't keep like the this. key handy when stepping outside even for a short time this feature enhances safety and privacy but it can also be unusual or inconvenient at first germany has that's weird though because i've never thought that germany like had a lot of like home invasion right i grew up in canada and i never locked my front door growing up yeah uh, because you know you're in canada yeah but because it's rare home invasion i guess it depends where you live but most house around here don't have a fence they don't have fence because it's a garden house so people not really put any stuff in there <laughs> you're saying there's nothing to steal yes okay well but to be honest even though sometimes you have nothing to, to steal but they're still trying to steal your window thing like that <laughs> okay. or your door sometimes you came back and then your door's gone even the you know the, the meter the water meter outside people steal the water meter oh before that it was so crazy it's it, it did not even belong to you Why it, never it belonged to, to the government because you you are lucky nothing <laughs> happened and i hope nothing gonna happen i don't want anything to happen okay but i've been through a lot it can also be unusual or inconvenient at first germany has seen an increasing interest in veganism over recent years making it one of the euro's top countries for vegan products availability german supermarkets such as edeka rewe lidl and aldi stock a wide variety of vegan products you know vegan. i have yeah but i have my beef with vegan product they have gorgeous packaging right you just saw amazing packaging right but then you look at the price and it's two three times more expensive than like the non-vegan like oh, yeah. non-gluten free vegan food is still way too expensive in the supermarket in canada and thailand it's like granola bar you have six granola bar for a uh, insane price you know and those packaging are always so much prettier when it's vegan but now it's gluten-free it's omega-3 it's too expensive is it because of the process and everything yeah, of course it's and because also packaging? Feed, yeah like the mm. yeah it's because of, of everything yeah uh, 
Rewe, Lidl and Aldi stock a wide variety of vegan products including dairy-free cheeses, plant-based meats and vegan pastries catering to the dietary needs and ethical beliefs of their customers. The Autobahn in Germany is known all over the world because some parts of it don't have a speed limit. You can drive 180 or even 250 kilometers per hour and Scary. it will be totally legal. Just look for this sign and there you go. However, certain areas... Yeah, I think what I saw because we reacted a long time ago to a video and I think in straight line on the super highway, right? On the autobahn, it's going to be no limit. But every time that there's a curve in the mm. super highway, then there, you cannot go unlimited. Right, it could be dangerous. Yeah, and then you need to go on the left when, when you want to speed and you have certain rules. You still have rules, but... ...do have speed limits and if you don't want to have a hefty fine, you must follow the regulations. Germans really enjoy outdoor activities, irrespective of the season. They relish hiking, Ooh. biking, lake swimming, skiing and simply lounging in so-called beer gardens. They deeply yeah. appreciate nature and enjoy being active. Open air festivals during summer are also quite popular oh. among Germans who attend these events with friends and family. Wow, this Germans looks like a very cast intelligent apartments. This looks like a castle. This place yeah. looks nice. I, I tried to look uh, what is this? Burger. It's a burger? Oh yeah, it's a burger. Wow. <laughs> I want that. Which one? The stove, the grill. Open air festivals with friends and family. Germans are very diligent about sorting their waste and recycling. They use different bins for different types of waste, mm. like food waste, paper, packaging, Nutella. glass bins for different types of uh, what was the name of the... Uh, I don't remember, but just remember it was so sweet. You know what? Apparently it's not German. <gasps> Apparently it's a, it's a company from uh, Singapore, right? That go to Germany and make the product for the asian market so ah. if you don't sell it in germany it's made in germany ah. but it's not for the german people right, it's from right, asian right. yeah it's like uh, a lot of people came to yes. thailand to like to make you know the menu the factory for clothes for thing like that i like, made in thailand but it's like not that. a thai company uh, yeah, yeah okay so they told us that uh, nutella it's still the one that they eat the most in germany like like that yeah of waste like food waste, paper, packaging, glass bottles, and general waste. The recycling rules might be confusing for newcomers, and to be on the safe side, follow the recycling instructions that can be found on various packages or trash bags. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content. My just make the color different mm. i hate when the color is the same and then they put different kind of bottle on the etiquette and you're supposed to understand which bottle go in which just put different color just put like green is supposed to be like the plastic put black is supposed to be the trash and i don't know what brown is maybe it's like something else but put three color and people will know when they put that sticker and then you need to guess which thing go where just put different color like this it's so easy what is a big one in the plastic but this one is like wet with trash well in canada the black one would be trash for sure because it's smaller than everyone so, so what do you think the, pr the brown is it's supposed to be wet food like wet food. yeah thank you for watching i will put another video here i'm not sure which one see you very soon